Hey everyone, Vin here. Let's talk about what's going to happen in this upcoming week regarding the new stimulus bill known as the HEROES Act and whether or not you, the American people, will see another direct payment anytime soon. The ball is now in the court of the Senate. Obviously, with the House of Representatives already voting on and passing the HEROES Act, it's now time to see what is the Senate going to do with this thing. Are they even going to vote on it in this upcoming week? The likelihood of that is next to zero. So this is what we know. When uh, Senator John Thune of South Dakota was asked if that was going to happen, he said, my guess is before the Memorial Day recess is unlikely. Then Senator Lindsey Graham said that trying to pass a bill under that time frame would be political malpractice. And when he was further pressed on it, he said, oh, God, no, he said, when asked if the Senate would pass something by Memorial Day recess. We obviously know Mitch McConnell has stated very similar things. And Senator John Corn of Texas, when he was asked as well, said, I don't think there's a sense of urgency to pass it now. So overwhelmingly, over and over and over again, we can pretty much state with near certainty that in this upcoming week, the Senate is not going to be voting on and certainly not passing the HEROES Act. Of course, each and every one of them are going to be mulling over this thing, ripping out things that they don't like, adding in the things that they want, and they're all doing this a part of their own councils that they're a part of. And in the meantime, while they are doing this, the media is going to be ripping them apart for taking any delays in passing this bill. In my opinion, the smartest thing that the Republicans could do would be to have a press conference in the upcoming week in which they state they are creating their own bill, which offers more direct monthly payments to the American people. If they could do such a thing, that would be received overwhelmingly positively by everyone, Republicans and Democrats alike, because at least if we're going to spend $3 trillion, at least we can agree on it should probably be going mainly to the American people. But can they do that? Can they separate themselves from their party lines and their ideological values? I highly doubt it. So as they're mulling over this bill, what are the Republicans likely to add into the bill? Well, first, they're likely to expand the timeline that businesses have to spend on the loans that they get through the Small Business Administration proposal. Second, they would also like state leadership to have more flexibility with the use of the $150 billion to deal with coronavirus in the states and the cities. Third, they're probably going to add some liability protection against legislation to create a legal safe harbor, quote unquote, for businesses, nonprofits, government workers and schools who reopen in the weeks and months following today. This is directly from John Corn and Mitch McConnell. Fourth, they're going to want to severely cut down on the one trillion dollar amount of money that is allocated for states in the HEROES Act. Fifth, they are likely going to start removing any and all legislation in the bill that they see as democratic ideology, environmental issues, federal prison release, illegal immigrations, marijuana and cannabis related issues, and on and on and on. So that is what they're going to spend their time doing. But what they're probably not going to spend their time doing is having the press release in which they say to everyone, we need a new bill and the new bill needs to have direct payments to Americans month to month secured for the rest of 2020. That's the right way to spend Americans money. But only if they were smart, they would do that. So they're not going to be voting on this bill now. So after they mull over it during this week and they come back in the following week after Memorial Day on the 26th, then Republicans are going to decide what they're going to do. They're either going to entirely vote this thing down or they're going to Frankenstein the thing into their own image, ripping out what they don't like, putting in what they do, and then coming out with some sort of new plan, at which point we will probably see the Republicans and the Democrats fight back and forth after two weeks, which means for you, the American people, when can you expect another direct stimulus payment? Well, because of what's going on now, I could foresee that it might be another month to a month and a half before they finally pass something. And because we now have a bicameral legislation that doesn't seem to be fighting for the American people on either side, whatever they do give us, it's probably going to be a limited one time payment and the rest of the money being spread out amongst those ideological ideas that each and every one of them have. This is your update for the stimulus bill and the HEROES Act. This is about as honest as I can get with it. If you appreciate this sort of thing and you like this point of view, consider subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you come along with us. As always, I will catch you next time.